God's blessings to you from our parish family at St. Agatha, St. Martin de Porres Parish. I offer this reflection on the scriptures for this coming Sunday for your spiritual nourishment and encouragement. Let's take a moment before we begin to recognize God's presence in each of us and to give thanks for all of our blessings. My brothers and sisters, this coming Sunday, our gospel connected in a wonderful way to our first reading from the prophet Isaiah, has Jesus fully engaging his ministry. Matthew's gospel refers to the prophecy of Isaiah, the people who sit in darkness have seen a great light. On those dwelling in land overshadowed by death, a light has shone. Jesus continues to echo John the Baptist's cry, repent, but adds, for the kingdom of God is at hand. But what does this mean? Later on in the gospel, Jesus shares parables. The man discovering a treasure in the field, the widow finding a lost coin, the pearl of great price, to raise up the great value and excitement in pursuing the kingdom of God, both in this life and the next. Other parables like the sower and the seed and the weeds and the wheat highlight different aspects of the faith journey, where some will embrace the journey of faith fully or not. For Jesus, the kingdom of God is expressed throughout his whole life. He presents a blueprint for fully embracing the fullness of God's plan for each and all of us. Humility, generosity, unconditional love, and sacrifice. Encouragement to walk through the chaos of life with God as companion and willing to accompany others as the presence of God's love to help them through the chaos, and together to know the joy of living a full life grounded in faith, hope, and love. Jesus knows early on that he will need companions, disciples he will eventually call friends. He knows that his ministry will likely be short because of the, ra of the radical, deeply rooted love he extends to absolutely everyone. It is love that supports, affirms, forgives, reflects radical mercy, heals, casts out demons, a love that challenges those who abuse their power, especially those who claim religious and political superiority and authority. The account of the call of the first four disciples, Peter, James, John, and Andrew, seems to indicate a simple encounter and these disciples immediate willingness to leave their livelihood and their families. But more likely, Jesus spends some time with them, getting to know them, and they getting to know him ultimately seeing in Jesus a heart and spirit that touched them deeply and compelled them to freely make this life-changing decision. Our call to follow Jesus happens every day if we are open to accepting his call. What it requires of us is an openness to a dialogue with Jesus, speaking from our heart about our hopes and dreams, our fears and struggles, and allowing Jesus in turn to share his heart, his hopes and dreams, fears and struggles, and how he embraces all of these because of the love that God the Father has for him, and that God the Father has for each of us as well. This encounter energizes us to seek to plumb the depths of the reality and mystery of such humble, generous, and unconditional love. We all need companions on the journey, people who fully and freely offer their support to us as we walk the journey of faith together. And there are many who need our companion accompaniment. This requires daily encounters with Jesus and prayer and encounters with others. Not just those we are familiar with, but those who cross our physical path, but also those who cross the borders of our consciousness, those who are in need, those hungering to know brotherly or sisterly love, of a fellow human being. Such love requires us to stretch ourselves, to be open to go places where there are those people struggling and, and in need of knowing that someone cares. My hope is that we will continue to answer God's call by being willing to be stretched. Clearly, that is what happened in the disciples' encounter with Jesus, and that Jesus' longs will happen within us. On behalf of the Catholic Christian family of St. Agatha St. Martin Porus, 
want to invite you to join us for, for Mass this coming Sunday at St. Agatha at 9 a.m. and St. Martin of Porus at 11 a.m. Both services are also offered online. We welcome your participation in our community prayer of praise and thanksgiving. Please take the time to share this video with others on Facebook. It is a great way for you to participate in spreading the good news of Jesus Christ. Thank you for all the ways that you allow the Lord to work through you, with you, and in you. And my friends, in all things, be blessed.